Hey guys, welcome to another video review. Today we are going to be looking at a mini Android TV box and I have the box right here in front of me. Let's go ahead and open it up. Now this is a very powerful device. It uh, adds so much more to your existing television. And you don't even need a television. You can simply plug it into any monitor that supports uh, video input. Uh, but mainly folks use it for uh, TVs and uh, this itself is the box it's extremely lightweight as I'm now holding it let's see what else is in the box we have a uh, power adapter and we also have an HDMI cable included which is uh, which is very very nice of them to include because most uh, TV boxes do not include the HDMI cable itself, including uh, uh, the boxes like the Roku. And we also have the remote control here. So this is pretty much uh, self-contained. Everything that you need to use this is included in the box, including the HDMI cable and the power card. And you also have a user's manual. All right, so let's have a closer look at the box and see what's on the box. I'm gonna take the plastic cover off. All right, so this is a very sleek box, very slim, as you can see. And it's got a very smooth uh, top surface. It says T95N at the top, which is the model of the box that we're looking at. And on this side, we have uh, slots for a USB cable and a TF card slot which is basically used to add a memory card that you can use to record your favorite shows and movies. Now the USB port comes in handy for uh, charging any USB powered devices or on the other hand you can use it to connect wireless devices such as a wireless keyboard or a wireless mouse that you can use along with the box. And at the back we have the power supply port another USB port, port for the Ethernet or the LAN cable, uh, the HDMI cable port and the audio video uh, port for older televisions or older monitors. Um, next let's look at the remote. It's again uh, very lightweight. It's got uh, various functions. Uh, pretty much everything that you need to do would happen with this uh, menu button interface and uh, you also have a volume control here but uh, the main functions of this device are all going to happen with the menu buttons all right so let's go ahead and open up uh, the power cord and the hdmi cable and make the connections required to use this box now first up let's open up the power cord All right, I'm gonna pause it right here while I make the connection so that you don't have to wait for me and we shall resume the video soon as the connections are ready. Welcome back guys. As you can see the connections have been made. Uh, let me quickly show you what connections we've made. Uh, at the back we've connected the HDMI cable to the HDMI output and we also connected the power source. And the other end of the HDMI cable just goes to the HDMI slot of your television set. That's pretty much all the connections that you need to make to get started with the device. Um, you can see it's getting power because it shows uh, powered on right here. And uh, we also inserted two AAA size batteries into the remote uh, and the batteries were not included. Alright, so let's go ahead and power on the television set. All right, guys. Uh, so this is much. This is pretty much what the TV screen looks like when you have this connected. This is the initial interface of the device. It's got Android 5.1 preloaded on it with uh, 2 GB RAM, and uh, it also supports 4K video. And it's got about 8 GB of uh, inbuilt storage. And let me browse through the menu options. So you can see various uh, pre-installed apps such as Kodi. Netflix and the Play Store to download more apps. Now Kodi is pretty much your interface to 
every media there exists in the world out there or pretty much all your TV shows uh, and um, movies music everything that you could search for uh, is pretty much out there um, and uh, it's pretty easy to use and the Kodi is basically one of the apps that comes pre-installed on this device so you don't have to worry about setting it up and it's got various add-ons that you can add to it which would help you access your various uh, media options such as movies and uh, music you can see uh, you can browse pictures videos music uh, there are several options on there and you also have uh, plenty of add-ons pre-installed and whether you want to watch uh, cartoons or movies or uh, you know news or any of that and Exodus is my favorite add-on and here it talks about the change log for Exodus all right um, the remote control is pretty easy to use as well and uh, it's pretty much uh, very convenient uh, to access the various options on the device uh, you don't have to get used to it too much because it follows a pretty standard interface of uh, the menu buttons and you can browse through your movies, uh, music and all of those in the add-ons now coming back to the home option you can also go into the play store and browse for more apps you would of course uh, need to set up a Wi-Fi before that and uh, make sure you're connected to the internet before uh, you can access it now there are several options here Google settings uh, and um, movie player these basically allow you to choose pretty much what is displayed by default at the bottom and now you can see Google settings got added as an option here so the plus sign is used to select which additional options you want to see at the bo bottom of your screen so these are Google settings for your Android device now to the right of the screen you can see the settings option right here this is where you would connect to Wi-Fi and set your uh, display options and uh, other options such as sound app settings and all of those uh, you can even connect additional Bluetooth accessories or other remotes if you like and let's go into the network and see how to connect to the Wi-Fi we're going to search for uh, Wi-Fi options and connect to your home network and I'm going to enter my password here and as you can see soon as I entered my password and clicked OK I got connected to the Wi-Fi network now we can go back to the home screen and go to the Play Store Now it's connecting to the Play Store. You can enter your Google account and sign in. And there you go. Soon as you sign in to Google on the Play Store, you can see various apps that are available. One awesome thing that you can do with this is uh, connect a Bluetooth game controller to the device and then you can even download games from the Play Store and play those on your TV. So this pretty much becomes your complete media center for games, music, movies, everything and with Play Store of course uh, there's no limit to the things you can do and as and when more apps are available on the Play Store you can definitely add those as well you can add other browsers so this becomes your browser your media center everything that you can imagine it to be this can be and it's such a tiny little device that can do so much uh, you can see the pre-installed apps that are available on it including Facebook and Dropbox so you can even access your files on Dropbox right here on your television and uh, pretty much makes it a very very powerful device uh, something that uh, takes care of your media needs from A to Z um, very easy to connect as you saw does not require much connection just one HDMI cable that goes to your TV and a power, power cord to supply power to it and also has the capability of connecting other Bluetooth or USB powered devices um, your questions, comments and feedback are always welcome. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. Thank you for watching.